Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Thank you for stopping by. So today what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take a quick look at some harnesses I made to simplify the subwoofer install in my Audi RS5 Sportback. Even though I made this harness for my RS5, uh, this will also work on other Audi models, um, specific B9 models uh, such as the A4, the S4, uh, the A5, S5, and uh, as mentioned already the RS5 and it will also work on the MK2, Q5 and SQ5 and also the B9 All Road. Before we dive in I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe and also feel free to check out some of my other content all the way ranging from uh, car detailing to my other cars and different uh, things that I have done uh, to them and towards the end of this video if you find this information useful I would really appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up button all right so diving in here guys what you guys are gonna see in a moment is uh, the baser box that I installed on my passenger side cubby now this cubby uh, replaced a uh, OEM cubby to fit a uh, aftermarket subwoofer and I'm going to be taking a deeper dive into my full stereo system installation but today what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and review the harness that I made to attach to the amplifier so that this uh, installation could be a lot easier. Uh, diving into that right now. So here are the harnesses that I made. Um, there's two different variations here um, and one variation actually has an add-on option which I'll get to here in a moment. Uh, but before I truly uh, uh, dive in here, I'm going to go ahead and link all the products that I used for my uh, aftermarket subwoofer installation uh, along with a uh, forum page where I detailed in pictures of everything that I did. Um, this is just one piece of the puzzle to complete your installation. Um, and also I'm gonna be making a video uh, overviewing uh, my entire installation from beginning to end. Um, it's not gonna be a do-it-yourself, a guide or anything like that. There's plenty of uh, resources available for that. But I'm gonna go ahead and kind of talk about all the gotchas and different things to look out for uh, during your installation. Um, so stay tuned for that. So these harnesses right here, let's, let's talk about that a little bit more here. Um, so the, the first harness that you see right here um, is a simple plug-and-play harness. Uh, no bells and whistles or anything like that. Um, what it does is it bypasses the OEM subwoofer and you only use your aftermarket subwoofer. That's the route that I went with um, because there wasn't a need for me to use my uh, OEM subwoofer and I'm truly happy with that. But I do understand some people like to use the aftermarket subwoofer with the OEM subwoofer. So that's why I have this other variation. But this first variation right here, um, like I said, this is really simple. Um, all you do is you plug this end into the wire that's plugged into the current subwoofer right now. It's all plug and play, no splicing or anything like that is needed. And then this end, uh, you use a RCA jumper cable to connect to the wire that comes with your amplifier. All right, the second variation here. Um, so like I said, there's an optional add-on for this one right here. And the optional add-on is basically this RCA piece. Um, so all it is is um, if you get it without the RCA piece, you get it from here to there. If you get it with the RCA piece, you get this entire unit. Um, so the way this works is this. Um, right now, you have a wire that's coming, uh, that's plugged into your OEM subwoofer. Um, you would simply disconnect that and you plug your OEM subwoofer wire into this right here. And then if you choose to use your OEM subwoofer in conjunction with your aftermarket subwoofer, you would plug this end into the after, I'm sorry, the OEM subwoofer. So this end right here, if you choose the option with the RCA, uh, would get connected to your amplifier via the male to male jumper uh, RCA cable. And if you choose not to get the RCA option, then you would just make your own connections right here, uh, whichever wire is positive and whichever wire is negative. And I'll outline all that for you guys um, in my uh, shipment or in my note to you guys, letting you guys know which, which one is positive, which one is negative, so that you get the uh, polarities right. 
All right, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video of uh, me reviewing the harnesses that I made. This is going to make your life a whole lot easier when you're doing your installation. Everything is pretty much plug and play, uh, depending on which amplifier you go with. And if you choose the amplifier uh, that I put in my description below or an amplifier like that, um, this is going to be very simple for you guys. If you guys have any questions, uh, feel free to leave a comment in the comment section. I'll go ahead and address that. Um, and if you wish to purchase one of these, I'll also leave some instructions in the description. If this video was helpful to you and if you found it uh, informational, I would really appreciate if you would hit the like button. And uh, as mentioned earlier, don't forget to subscribe. I will be doing more videos on my uh, subwoofer uh, installation overview uh, so you guys can see the ins and outs and tips and tricks uh, and things to avoid and things to watch out for uh, when you guys are doing yours. Take care and have a great day.